Ho, ho, ho. Oh, friends. Ho, ho, ho. Santa's coming, and we need to make him some cookies. All right, friends, so Santa's on his way because it's almost Christmas time. So today, we are going to make our jolly little friend. Wait, is Santa big or is Santa little? Huh. Anyway, we're going to make Santa candy cane cookies because I hear that he really likes them. So, while you go ask your grown-up for permission to do this kitchen project and wash your hands, I'm going to go grab all the ingredients that we need to make this project a success. I'll see you in just a minute. So we have a lot of ingredients here, don't we? Yeah, but these cookies are actually pretty easy to make. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our salt and just add it we're going to add it to our flour and we're going to take a whisk and we're just going to whisk it in to mix it together. This way, when we add the flour to our mixer, the salt and flour are already mixed together. That looks pretty good. All right, next up, we're going to use our stand mixer. So don't forget to have your grown up next to you or at least nearby to help you with the stand mixer. So we're going to put in our butter. And we're going to put in our powdered sugar. And we are going to let the stand mixer do its job and mix that up really well. Ooh, make sure you get all of it in there. Oh, goodness. My hands are already dirty. I mean, that figures, right? Okay. Let's turn it on. That looks good. Let's take a closer look inside the bowl. Oh, yeah, that's nice and whipped together. Let's add in our vanilla. In you go. Boop. And we're gonna do one egg. Remember what I said about the shell? Yeah. Make sure you don't get it in there. Cause that would not be fun to eat. And then we're going to let the mixer do its job again. Okay, so I know it looks kind of weird at this stage, but that's okay. I promise it's going to work out and they're going to be delicious. So let's go ahead and start adding in our flour and salt mixture. We're gonna do it just about half at a time so that our mixer gets a chance to get it pretty worked together before we add more. And remember to start it off low because flour likes to go poof when you start it too high and then you'll have flour everywhere. All right, let's add the rest in. Clean that batter off. Do, do. do you guys make up songs when you bake? I do. I don't know why, but my brain just starts going. And I start making up songs about cleaning up the kitchen and adding flour to things. I mean, it's kind of strange, but I like it. It's like having my own little music in my head. All right, let's finish this up. All right, that looks pretty good. So I think our dough is ready. So next we are gonna add our red food coloring, but to only half of the dough because candy canes are red and white, right? Yeah. So let's get our dough out and ready to make it red. Look at that big ball of dough. <laughs> okay, so since we're making candy canes, we need half red and half white. So let's take our ball of dough 
and we're gonna pull it apart in half. So our one ball of dough will become two. And then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna add the red food coloring. So you can do this in your mixer if you want. I'm gonna do it by hand because as we all know, I love a good mess. So we're gonna take our red food coloring and we're gonna add it right to our dough. And then we're just gonna mix it together. And if we're lucky, it will turn out to be red. <laughs> it's already messy, I love it. I think that's a pretty good color red. Okay, so this dough, if it starts to get crumbly, like ours is getting, we're gonna go sit it in the refrigerator for, for just a couple of minutes while we have our oven preheating to 375 degrees. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this off to the refrigerator and then we'll be ready to make our candy canes. It's candy cane making time. Well, not really candy canes, but candy cane cookies. Can't beat that, can ya? Okay, here we go. So we have red and we have white. We're gonna take a little bit of each and we're gonna roll them out and then see if we can twist them together to make them look like a candy cane. Let's see. I'm gonna roll up my sleeve so I don't get my Christmas sweater dirty. Let's see, so we are gonna try to roll, I'm gonna move this out of the way. We are gonna try to roll this out like a Play-Doh snake. We need to be patient and careful with this dough because it will fall apart if you're not careful. All right, what do you think? You think that's a good red stripe? I think it is, let's try a white one. All right, we have one red stripe and one white stripe. So the white one is a little bit longer, so we're just gonna pinch off the end, add it to our dough, and then we're gonna see if we can twist these together to make them look like a candy cane. Now let me tell you, sometimes they worked in practice and sometimes they didn't work in practice, and that's okay because we're learning together, right? Yeah. All right. Wish me luck. What do you think? I think that looks like a pretty good candy cane. Yeah? Yeah, I think so too. All right, I'm gonna continue making some of these so let's go ahead and take a look at all of the ingredients that we use to make this kitchen project a success. Flour, powdered sugar, butter, salt, vanilla, egg, red food coloring. Look at those. So we have made our candy cane cookies pretty big because I have it on good authority that Santa likes big cookies. And I mean, really, who can blame them? How delicious are these gonna be? All right, friends, so we are gonna pop these in the oven for about 15 minutes, and then we'll see how our candy canes turned out. Wow, look how cute and enormous those candy cane cookies are. Santa's gonna be so excited. They look delicious. I wonder if I could try one. No, I better not, huh? I don't wanna end up on the naughty list. That'd be terrible. We've gone this whole time. All right, friends, so if you decide to make these candy cane cookies for Santa as well, 
don't forget to ask your grown-up to snap a picture <laughs> and post it on Instagram and tag us at Lolly B Bridge. <laughs> All right, friends, I have had so much fun in making this kitchen project with you today, and I really hope that Santa enjoys your cookies as well. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.